Friday, 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 June 16th. Today's word is scorching. So Bob, why do you got a snow cap on? Well, I don't know, I just covered my bald spot. <laughs> it's a big, big, big bald spot, isn't it? <coughs> this is Friday light today, baby, I'll tell you. Freeway is just free and clear. There ain't nobody on this freeway. I don't know, I got the, the, the uh, dangerous heat. They were kept talking about how dangerous it is. It's going to be dangerous. Look out, look out. Well, if you have a lot of fans, you got a lot of water, then, you know, there's a guy singing by. I'm going about 70. He must be going about 85 to 90. Where's he going to go, though? I just saw this a couple days ago. They, they head right up into the red tail lights of the other people, and then they get up. <laughs> well, relationships can get hot and scorching. <coughs> <coughs> Relationships can get hot and scorching. Jobs can be hot and scorching. Uh, situations can certainly be hot. Uh, you know, going in hot. That's you know, what they say. Isn't it? And we, as believers, we we don't have to submit or be affected by the fire or heat of the furnace. There's, I, I've seen like thousand dollars for the tickets right in front of me. People just go in and out of the. What is this, Orange County? You're not supposed to, you're not supposed to be going, uh, you know, in, in and out of the carpool lane. There's a double yellow line on there, you know. A double yellow, a double yellow. Remember I voted uh, for a particular candidate, and I put the, I put the, the big on the gate there. And I'm leaving Casa Del Green, and it's one of my memories is that uh, I look in the gate and I go, look, there's still some of the tape on there from all those years ago for my candidate I voted for. I'm praying that uh, there's a lady that has her phone up. I've got this new app. Uh, speaking of speaking of fiery and, and hot and fierce and I got an app. <laughs> and the app's not fiery or fierce or you know, no, it's the app is very nice. But it's called EverDrive. EverDrive. And it's really I, I was a pretty pretty decent driver to begin with. I mean, I've had my moments, of course, but uh, this EverDrive app is very, very picky. I, people are just, there's no law and order here anymore. People are just, I just watch them, they're just going crazy. I'm going to do it right away. There's nobody in charge. I'm in charge. <laughs> Help me, Lord Jesus. Oh, we don't want to be in charge. You know, we go around and we go around and we just start doing whatever we want to do. Judah talked about this. Judah Smith, City Church, you know, Seahawks, Seattle, Los Angeles, and Guadalajara. Lady next to me is like blatantly on the phone. <laughs> it's like, wow, that's crazy. She has the big white bright phone hand in her hand, you know, and crazy. So let me say to you kindly that. We, as believers, we do not have to be affected like other people. We really don't. Now, if you're a heat-sensitive person, I, I, I say that and I think, oh, I think of all the times that I get home and I am boiling hot. I'm not only exhausted, I get home sometimes at 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night from a big day, and I'm not only exhausted, I am tired, I am bone tired, I am, I am done, done, I am done. <laughs> you know, and the dishes are held high, and I, uh, I put a, uh, there's another lady down like this. This is a crew, I feel like calling her in, but she's got a paper plate, so not much to call in there. Um, but I can get hot. I mean, when the perspiration is just pouring off my forehead and there's no airflow, I'm like, ah, crazy. I might talk to this woman. She's just getting a little bit too crazy for me. Yeah, she's not on the phone now. Oh, I guess she's learned her lesson. If we walk in the flesh, that is, we just pay attention to what we know what we think is right 
what we understand, our own human experience in the flesh. Maybe we had a relative that, that beat the beat the junk out of us when we were kids. So, and we're gonna make sure we're gonna. Maybe we uh, have a certain perspective, a certain certain political <clears throat> persuasion, what have you. And they've ever said that before what have you but when you walk in the Holy Spirit it does soften you up a little bit you know, we don't we aren't interested in scorching other people and if people try to scorch us it kind of just bounces off now we talked about this infamous I'll call him, um, I'm going to come up with a real good name for this guy, uh, Brownie, <laughs> I'll call him Brownie, <coughs> and yes, I do mean that, <laughs> so old Brownie, he was a real, he was a real pain, I tell you, he was a real pain, 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 he, he simply did not wanted to go along with the program and yet no matter what he did it seemed to just bounce off of me I didn't feel like it was bouncing off I felt at times as though things were not going the way that I would have expected I certainly did not feel things were going well. I certainly did not understand why I had to go through all that. At the time, I was like, I wonder if Shad, Mac, Resac, and Abendigo, I'm not saying the names right, okay, just, just uh, <laughs> So, I'm in, one of those guys, when they were, you know, going to the fiery furnace, I wonder if they knew that God was going to you know, I, I knew that they, they had faith in God, obviously, but but to think that their clothes weren't even wasn't even any smoky smell on their clothes and <coughs> that's pretty amazing. But I, I thought I've often thought that Brownie, Camper Brownie, he would be like, no, no all my nefarious activities, slicing hoses, breaking windows, leaving trash around, throwing away collectible signs, cutting vines that have been there for years. None of that, none of that. It didn't get him. It didn't get him. I mean, Lord forbid, and I pray in Jesus' name. I remember my friend Kathy Geigler. I'll say the whole name because, you know, it was a young lady back you know, 50 years ago about, um, you know, led me to the Lord. And I remember hearing, and I came to the Lord in June, and I remember hearing in December of that same year, but it must have been 71, that her house burned because there was an electrical problem with the uh, Christmas tree. And I thought, oh, you know, so sad, so sad. But even in that, even as sad as it is that the whole house is gone, the relationship that we have with our Father, Abba Father, I was listening to Judah this morning, he was talking about hands and knees, hands and knees, talking about how the hands represent energy, and we give all of our energy to the Lord. I, that, it made me really shock me. I was like, wow, when we lift up our hands, Lift up holy hands. We are giving our energy to God. We're giving our energy to God. And energy is coming into our hands from God. That uh, I heard uh, Pastor Jack years ago talked about how it's physically much better to stand up, hands fully raised. It, it's just, it's, it's a good habit to... maintain for our body our body 
response in a positive way to praise, worship, exaltation. And of course, that's the uh, that's the thing. It's the relationship to Jesus. Judas is always talking about going for coffee. Let's go for coffee and talk about the, how, the, how wonderful the Seahawks are. You know, I talk about coffee and, and talk about you know what Jesus is doing in your life and keeping that, that community. And it isn't just about Sunday. It's about it's funny because down in LA we've got the Dream Center and uh, people never talk. Let's go for coffee. Now it's like let's go do adopt a block together. Let's you know go go serve. Let's do the hot dog ministry on Tuesday night. God bless the, the, the uh, people down there at the Union Rescue Mission on Skid Row. Uh, bless uh, Mr. T and the whole team there. There we go. So, that sense of relationship, it acts as like a reflector or a, an insulator against the heat that wants to, wants to get us, take us out. And... Steve Brown mentioned a fella, and I, I don't, I'm not familiar, I didn't meet the guy, but uh, apparently uh, he was standing before the authorities, and they said, yeah, we're going to take all your stuff if you, don't, if you don't renounce Jesus. And he said, well, it's not my stuff, you know, you're welcome to it. And then uh, they said, well, we'll kill your children. He said, well, you know, that, that, that'd be all right, they're not my children, they belong to the Lord. Well, we're gonna we're gonna kill you, and he said, "Well, that's 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 fine. I I was already dead before I got here." So, <laughs> so they burned him at the stake, and the fire didn't touch him. They, 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 it was like, and that's a perfect example of what I was talking about. Was that <coughs> the Bible says that the Lord can do all these things. So today, as we go into this fiery hot day. This fierce day of intense heat, and the news broadcasters are crying, it's so dangerous, look out, heat, oh my gosh. We're living with air conditioning, and we got all kinds of goodies to help us to navigate through. Now, when I was a boy, the air conditioner was the, uh, I had, my dad talked about how he had the, the uh, 460 air conditioner. He have all four windows down and go 60 miles an hour and the wind to blow. And <laughs> so today, I mean, you can go to the mall. You can do a lot of things to get out of the heat. I'm going to be in the heat. I'll be working. And, uh, but I've got my two big giant bubbas full of fluids. And I will, uh, I will have those uh, at hand and ready to go. So I'll be continuing on. i got lots of water. I'll probably stay away from the sugary drinks today. To stick with water. I don't want to get chafed. And it's funny when I have sometimes if it's really super super hot, and I do a lot of walking. I have sugary drinks. I get I get that chafing. That it's like, no, no, thank you. No, I don't want any chafing. <laughs> All right, let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this Friday. Thank you for fish fillets at McDonald's. Yay! Thanks for the Seahawks. Thanks for Pastor Judah, our wonderful Pastor Judah Smith. Lord, we love him. We pray for uh, all the pastors, Matthew Barnett Sr. and uh, Mr. Tommy Barnett Sr. And we pray, God, for all of the pastors. And we pray for the believers. We pray for our church family. We pray for our home groups. We pray that you bless the home group of, of uh, Miss L today and uh, Mr. A. Uh, they, uh, they're having a home group uh, out there on the west side. Bless them. pray that that home group goes really, really well. It's going to be pizza night. So go on out. I love you guys. God bless you. I pray in Jesus' name that we would uh, honor Christ today in everything that we do. And I'm so glad to be with Jesus. I'm so glad to be with Jesus. I'm so glad. And I'm not worried about today, about anything that's going to happen. Martin Luther King talked about it. He's not, he's not worried. Everything's good. You know, and that peace, that peace. Call me, would you? 213-713-8954-8954 greenatt.net on the Twitter at Mr. Bob, Bob, Bob 8954 and of course you're watching Bob's Daily Devo on YouTube. Please call me and help me. I need your help to move tomorrow on Saturday. I'm going to be moving uh, everything out of the uh, property into a big truck so I could use your help. I'll be serving pizza and uh, cold drinks. Yay. Including water.
Love you. God bless you. You're the best.